At this year's 13th uh, BGICC 2021, uh, I will be talking about invasive lobular carcinoma and imaging um, of this a very unusual variant of a breast cancer. As we all know, invasive lobular carcinoma is a very different pathological entity and it grows in a very different uh, a fashion. It has a very linear and planar um, you know, growth, which makes imaging very unique. Um, so in this talk, I will be talking about briefly uh, some epidemiological aspects of invasive uh, lobular carcinoma. We are going to look at the unique pathological features which actually drive how this cancer looks on, um, you know, on imaging. And then we are going to look at some aspects of uh, the radiological appearances of invasive lobular carcinoma on different modalities like mammography, ultrasound, um, obviously MRI, uh, tomosynthesis, and also contrast enhanced uh, mammography and come up with some algorithm which we can use uh, to diagnose um, this cancer. We will spend some time to discuss the role of uh, breast MRI in the assessment and staging of invasive lobular carcinomas. Breast MRI staging is actually one of the, um, one of the key indications is actually invasive lobular carcinoma because of the unique way uh, in which invasive lobular carcinoma grows. MRI is very, very beneficial in determining the exact extent and studies have shown that the detection of MRI is far superior than any other breast imaging modality, particularly in the situation of invasive lobular carcinoma. We will be discussing management of invasive lobular carcinoma briefly. Um, as we know that invasive lobular carcinoma tends to be bilateral, uh, it is usually multifocal and the extent of the disease is much larger than detected on imaging and MRI, like I said, performs the best uh, in correlation with the pathological extent of invasive lobular carcinoma. We also know that invasive lobular carcinoma has a lower frequency of um, axillary nodal spread uh, than invasive abductal carcinoma of no special type. And so this is clearly uh, beneficial in terms of distant uh, metastasis and spread. Invasive lobular carcinoma also has unique uh, type of distant metastasis that can go to serosal cavities, meninges, a bone, um, of course, to the regional lymph nodes, uterus, and many other locations. It's pretty unusual. So we will just touch upon um, the overall management of um, breast cancer as pertinent to the uh, radiologist. Uh, at the end of the talk, I would also touch upon uh, lobular neoplasia, which is like a high-risk lesion and consists of atypical lobular hyperplasia and lobular carcinoma in situ. And the reason we're gonna talk about is like some of these um, can uh, herald or can um, warn us uh, for the presence of underlying invasive lobular carcinoma, especially pleomorphic uh, lobular carcinoma in situ is, is pretty much uh, to be handled like invasive uh, lobular carcinoma. And so we will go through it and then we will discuss uh, briefly uh, how we are going to manage these high-risk lesions, the, the invasive, uh, not the invasive lobular carcinoma, but the lobular neoplasia, and how we are going to use MRI in um, managing these high-risk lesions. So uh, invasive lobular carcinoma and lobular neoplasia can present as calcifications, masses. They may be associated with other benign lesions such as fibroadenomas, rarely. Um, and on the MRI, it shows a spectrum of uh, appearances such as a mass, uh, non-mass lesions. Um, they, there may be uh, extensive uh, enhancement uh, throughout the breast tissue in the form of uh, dendritic appearance. And sometimes MRI can also be negative. So invasive lobular carcinoma is a very, very um, unusual cancer that can completely be missed on all imaging modalities, including breast MRI. And I, I hope that uh, through this uh, talk, we will get an overview of how uh, this cancer looks on uh, imaging, as well as how are we gonna navigate some difficult uh, uh, situations um, when in the imaging of invasive lobular carcinoma. Thank you.